So make sure that you have uh, good projects that actually solves a real life problem. Again, this is very important for recruiters to understand because again, in such kind of problems, you are going to learn the uh, meaning of scale. Uh, you're going to learn the meaning of resiliency, um, growth, how your actually app is changing and how, how can you make it more dynamic in particular cases. Hi everyone, welcome to Coding Ninjas. I am Naman and I'm a software engineer at Microsoft. Today we're going to talk about how and where can we apply for off-campus placement. Now again, when you talk about off-campus placement, it is very necessary to know what exact steps that you should actually follow to get it. Because there are lakhs and lakhs of people who are actually, uh, you know, filling out the application for just a single company. So you should, uh, I mean, you make sure that you actually follow up these particular steps. The first and the foremost uh, important thing is, you know, your resume. Again, your resume is who you are on paper. So we always say it, you should actually build a resume. That means you're actually trying to build your personality onto a documented paper. So make sure that it has all the relevant things. For example, it should contain all your educational details. For example, what degree that you're doing. Second is what kind of technical skills that you have. Now, whenever you go and apply for a company so it can be possible that one company is interested in one particular skill second is interested in that particular skill so you should always mold your resume in what actually the company wants because again this is going to, going to be very important now why i'm saying this is because you know whenever you go and apply and you you know submit your resume to the companies right what actually happens is it some some of the time is it goes to the application tracking system of these companies because like if you talk about big companies they have lakhs and lakhs of you know resume ingested so how would they actually uh, make sure that you're the best one so what they do is they, they actually make a pattern matching between the type of resume that they want uh, a template kind of resume and what your actually resume is so if it matches then you will be you know selected so for that, you should have those keywords that they actually want. Now, what? how would you do that? You would go on and check the job description and you would actually uh, match the words in the job description and your resume. You would keep the names very synonymous uh, to increase your chance of getting a resume selected. So you should do that. So make sure that you have all the uh, skills. You should have good skills that it, that is mentioned. Make sure that you do mention your technical skills. Again, it should be relevant to the role. Now, coming on to most important thing is your projects. Again, when you will be going in a company, you're going to deliver some critical features to your clientele, right? For example, let's say you're delivering a notification system to your clients or uh, you're delivering a whole new path of way to how they, the client can ingest the data into your system or, you know, some uh, interactive things like some something like chat GPT, wherein your, your clients are talking to chat GPT and your through chat GPT uh, some API is called onto your backend which is actually doing some work so there are multiple features that are going to actually deliver to uh, the client so what a recruiter actually wants to see is hey what kind of projects that you have done now uh, when you talk about resume and being just fresh out of college and applying for off-campus placement I'm sure you uh, only the best thing that here can be a good internship project so make sure that you actually have a good internship in place or you have, at least if you don't have a good internship project, you know, uh, that has a very good real life problem. So it can be a problem related to the commute of people. For now, if you talk about uh, something called as farm easy, right? The most important problem is that they don't deliver medicines in time, right? So if you tell them, hey, I want to get this medicine delivered, it doesn't work like Swiggy, wherein they actually get you some medicine and uh, they reach out to you in like 30 or 40 minutes. They, they took a day or even they might took, you know, two days to get your medicines del delivered. So it is a very crucial thing to understand. So how would you solve this problem of commute? Uh, right. Uh, so this is... So make sure that you have uh, good projects that actually solves a real life problem. Again, this is very important for recruiters to understand because again, in such kind of problems, you are going to learn the uh, meaning of scale uh, you're going to learn the meaning of resiliency, um, growth, how your actually app is changing and how, how can you make it more dynamic in particular cases. So this is going to be very useful for them to judge, hey, are you a good fit for a good feature crew or not? So it is not uh, uh, on the quantity of projects that you make. It is on the quality of project that you make. For example, let's say you're, you're building a good, good prototype of a particular 
app and you can actually doing it better than a particular existing app that is a very good project rather than making you know four or five games and compiling all of them so make sure that you do that and also please try to make it you know running so that even when your interviewer sees hey what project that you worked on you can show him that hey this is my app and you can actually test it right here right now it is going to open a lot of scope of questions and he's going to ask you multiple things around how how have you done the calculation of this particular thing and how have you make it stand re rendering fast so this is one more important thing to it and please mention your technical achievements as well so for example let's say you pa you took a part in coding con contest and you uh, won some rank you won some prizes or what is your best current score these are the things that is going to make your resume more strong enough to you know get and pass the ata system and again as a recruiter if i talk about you know it just takes you know very minimal time for a recruiter to see your resume so make sure that you make it more charming it should be a one pager thing you should make it everything concise in one page so that uh, you know the readability is better nobody is going to read your 2 3 4 page resume so this is the more important thing so we have done on the very first part that is your resume second let's talk about referrals now what exactly is referral so referral is a thing in which someone you know gives a recommendation of yours into uh, the company for example let's say you have your uh, elder brother into a company and he knows that you're fit for the company he is going to recommend hey you could uh, you know interview this particular guy you can interview my brother and he is going to uh, he is a very good candidate for our company so this is actually what referral is called in layman terms now how would you get referrals so for that you would have to have a good networking with good networking i mean you would have to have good connections now how can you make connections so there are multiple ways in which you can actually create some first is through your college societies and college seniors in your colleges uh, in lots of colleges we have multiple management societies multiple societies right so in which there are multiple seniors now you know when i was in my college uh, we had a cs workshop we used to have it in which multiple seniors uh, used to come and give some uh, webinars sometime good seminars on things and they are now placed in some good companies you should go in such kind of society you should make connection you should talk to your college seniors this is going to help in getting referrals along with that second way of doing it is you know linkedin right so linkedin is, uh, you can just treat it as a professional facebook right you you're going to see multiple people mul uh, telling about their professional uh, journey so you can make some connection out there and you can ask these people so for example let's say you you contacted someone from google you can just ask them hey i want to apply for google could you recommend me what path should i go and what things should i actually learn this is going to actually make up you know uh, a good uh, communication it is not an advisable way to directly say it bluntly to it uh, to him or her that Hey I I saw you that you are software en engineer in Google could you please give me a referral it is not a very good way Tr trust me because no one is going to give you a referral directly third and the most important thing is please do it consistently why am i saying this is you know when you talk about off campus placements multiple lakh people apply for a particular company right so it is very important to be the best out of all right so for that you would have to send your resume to 200 places and then you're going to get reverted by just like you know a few three or five so make sure that you don't de get demotivated in the path please apply as consistently as you can when you're trying to apply for off campus placement and make sure that at least every day you send your resume out to two different places two to three different places with that only you could expect some reply in some other few days right fourth important thing is where to get uh, you know where to go and check for this job so there are multiple places wherein you can go and check so you know every particular company have their own careers website so if you if you talk about let's say let's talk about my company which is microsoft air so microsoft ha has its own dedicated careers page so it is careers.microsoft.com similar to that every other company has their own uh, career page in which they actually tell you about uh, job availability depending upon what geo that you are searching for so for example let's say it is the career page is going to tell you uh, hey we have three positions open in hyderabad office we have three positions open in noida's office or we have two positions open in you know redmond so that is one place where you can go and check and you can just see hey what jobs are available there not just the 
uh, you can actually filter on type of jobs so for example let's say you are looking for a data science a data scientist role you can go and search for it and the location you can search for software engineering roles and internship roles you can go and check everything on your career website um, and it is just the same for every other uh, company for example if you talk about google if you talk about meta they have their own career website wherein you can go and check the availability of the jobs that you want to apply for coming on to other websites so you we have multiple other website as well for example you know knockery.com internshala.com and you know indeed.com which also lists some of the job so we have multiple places where you can do it again the most important thing is keeping a resume very strong building a resume very strong second is you know having some good connections so that you can ask someone to apply for a referral that is very important then after that it is important to go and check for uh, the career page so that's all i think i made it very clear how to apply and uh, where to apply i hope you love the video and please let me know if there's anything that i missed uh, and let us know some important and some fun topics if there are any that you want us to make videos on if there's anything we are all yours here uh, with that please like share and subscribe to the channel and yeah wish you a very happy learning thank you guys bye